I'm Dom Brassi, I'm Vice President of Growth with Lesbians Who Tech and Tech Up. Leanne Pittsford founded Lesbians Who Tech late in 2012, and it was just a baby project. I think it was a mixer at a, at a bar, I think it was a happy hour. And from that gathering of like 40 people in some, some city, um, she invested her own capital into an experiment that she thought would fail, and that was Lesbians Who Tech a strong, integrated, inclusive, challenging community with a high level of growth and engagement. It's so much more than professional network. It's a family. It's a community. I mean, Lesbians Who Tech exists because we're interested in success for our members. Um, it's a professional network of people who are queer-identified women and allies, all committed to increasing the visibility and the leadership of lesbians in technology. And what that means is we're changing the demographics of leadership and we're changing the landscape of what it looks like to be in tech and really helping our members actualize what they can become and how influential they can be in the tech sector and in their professions. If I had some advice for somebody who is looking to get into the tech industry, whether they're young, younger, or wanting to make a career transition into tech, um, well, go to Lesbian Sue Tech. Go to, go to our website. It's uh, www.lesbiansutech.org and look for Bring a Lesbian to Work Day. This is a program to build one day mentorship. Like, we just think if we connect you, you can do the rest. Um, but find somebody, go to work with them, and learn. Spotlight on Success and Achievement is brought to you by Wells Fargo. Together, we'll go far.